All right, so it was a day of intense political drama yesterday. India's former finance and home minister, P. Chidambaram, was taken into custody by the Central Bureau of Investigation from his residence, and that too after the CBI officials, in a pretty dramatic manner, had to scale the walls of his residence to get inside. But the chief of the CBI was in fact part of the team that finally took the former minister into custody. Chidambaram will be presented before a special CBI court today. And Chidambaram's son, Karthi Chidambaram, also reached New Delhi this morning. Listen in what he had to say. We are being targeted. My, there is no requirement, no legal requirement for my father to have been available to anybody. All that happened on Tuesday was that a, an anticipatory bail plea, which was filed in May of 2018, for which the arguments got over in January of 2019, where the, the, the judgment was reserved for seven months. The judgment came out, that's all. Of course, the Congress Party completely stands with him, and I'm ever grateful to the leadership of the Congress Party, particularly Mr. Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi, for standing with us, because we all know this is not just a merely a targeting of my father, it's a targeting of the Congress Party. What's the the party your 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 we were, I, I have gone through the same process myself, so I will go through the legal process. There are, there are legal processes which we will follow. And also earlier, Chidambaram, who was nowhere to be seen for over 27 hours, surfaced at the Congress party headquarters to address the media. He made an impassioned case about his whereabouts since Tuesday evening, saying that he was not running away from the law, but in fact was seeking the protection of the law. I was aghast that I was accused of hiding from the law. On the contrary, I was seeking the protection of the law. I was accused of running away from justice. On the contrary, I was engaged in the pursuit of justice. My lawyers have told me that despite their impassioned pleas, the cases were not listed for hearing today, nor will they be listed tomorrow, but will be listed only on Friday. I bow down to the orders of the Honorable Supreme Court.